honesty, passion, experience. It's Timberwolves Explosion, hosted on thesportstuff.com, and also brought to you by the Oddman Media Network. Here are your hosts, Paladino Joey and Marcus the Forecaster. <laughs> Hello again, Timberwolves fans. Are you ready for the explosion of Timberwolves basketball? I am your host, Paladino Joey, and with me, once again, is Marcus, the forecaster. Yes, yes. Good to be here. Oh, thank you very much, and welcome back. Welcome back. Fist pound off mic, or off, oh, on the mic, whatever it is, <laughs> off camera, because there is no camera. Uh, let's jump right into it. <laughs> the topic of topics. Yeah, it happened a few weeks back, but, well, you know, you know, it's not like we played any games yet or anything, so. <laughs> and plus, the uh, schedules are busy, you know, that good stuff. Joey's working too much and uh, all that good stuff and, and all these uh, other off the, off the mic stuff. You know, we get, uh, we get busy with stuffs. So, <laughs> we're here. We're here for the real, the real trade of trades. This is the, Probably the best trade in Timberwolves history. Yes. And it better be the best trade in Timberwolves history. And hopefully the best return. <laughs> yeah. Yep. It's got to be. It's got to be better than the Kevin Garnett trade, I got to think. Because yeah. we got Al Jabberson, who was a really good number two star on the team. A really good number two. And there's some kibbles and bits, right? Is that what you like to call it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kibbles and bits, right? Some of those kibbles and bits were a little stale, and the others were just a little raw, too, you know? Yeah, just a little raw. Like, green was just way too green. Yeah, we basically have nothing to show for it. Mm-hmm. Because we traded Al Jefferson for second-round picks, and it ended up being Malcolm Lee, and, uh, well, one of them was a Chase Bunninger trade that, yeah, I guess Chase is here. So we uh, got fired Kurt Rambis and uh, and uh, got Chase Bunninger for Al Jefferson. <laughs> oh, Lord Almighty. <clears throat> so the good news is, on the positive side, there is gold at the end of the rainbow. Not only the fact that we uh, got rid of the bad blood, huh? Yeah. The bad blood? Yeah. <laughs> the source of it. The real bad blood. The, 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 whatever it is. This Ebenezer Scrooge of the, of the Timberwolves. Yes. And we brought in, uh, Andrew Wiggins and Anthony Bennett and... Thaddeus Young. Yes. Great additions. Great additions. Welcome. Welcome to Minneapolis. Oh, welcome to welcome to town. Welcome to the... Is well, might be in uh, St. Hmm? Paul? Maybe in St. Paul. <laughs> Some of them maybe. You never know. Welcome to the... Uh, well, as the Target Center renovation is... Uh, you know, it's kind of uh, doing what it's doing, I suppose. It yeah. seems like they're starting more on Block E for... Um, I, I, I guess. Yeah. The uh, the the ghost town building, I guess. Since it seems like every time there's a development, <laughs> it's good for a couple of years, and then it's a ghost town again. It's like, man, what's going on? I can't wait until we uh, change our logo. Like, yep, it seems like <laughs> it has you know, to go. You wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if something happens because it's another new era. I mean, yeah. we're it's like an email that gets sent, NWO. like NWO, mm-hmm, the NWO, the New Wolves Order, the NWO. But uh, ultimately, yeah, the NWO is what this episode is, the new Wolves Order. I was thinking of Wiggins Wolves and all these other... I had some other idea that I, it just disappeared and I never got it back for whatever reason. It's one of those that's how it goes type things. Uh, the new Wolves Order. Yeah, that's... Uh, what we have before us is an opportunity. A new Wolves Order. An order in which a credible... Uh, Minnesota Timberwolves can uh, achieve the promise and vision of the Timberwolves founders. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting a little Illuminatus around here with some of this. <laughs> but, yeah, the Timberwolves uh, Illuminati has put together a great team. Uh, potentially. It's put together a great foundation. Foundational pieces to the franchise. That's what's exciting. Andrew Wiggins and Anthony Bennett and Thaddeus Young. Thaddeus Young... Uh, 
Well, maybe we'll start with Andrew Wiggins. I mean, you might we might as well. That's the, uh, by all intents and purposes, the new face of the franchise. At least until, until there's a reason to believe otherwise, he is the new face of the franchise. Uh, he's the second Canadian to go number one overall because we got the first Canadian to go number one overall in Anthony Bennett as well. He'll be a very interesting uh, reclamation project that might end up being a fantastic one. But as I said, before I get too sloppy here, <laughs> Anthony Wiggins is uh, a Minnesota Timberwolf. So he'll be donning the number 22. Mm, so what, what do you think of Andrew Wiggins? Um, I actually don't know what to think. Um, he had an okay uh, summer league. I know you can't really take much from it, but um, I just hope that I wish that he that he would perform better. That was the one thing. Yeah, some of the summer league wasn't too good. I mean, the good news is some guys come in raw. I suppose. Yeah. Heck, even Levine didn't look so hot at the beginning, and then he kind of caught on later. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what I like. Yeah, you can get a just a sense of what their capabilities are. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Um, Wiggins, we know that he can hit a little uh, back step jumper. Yeah. Um, he's, he can't really shoot the three that well. <laughs> um, uh, dribbling, he needs to uh, practice. He's he's not uh, Wesley Johnson esque, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. Um, that's something that he can improve improve on. But uh, Levine, uh, yeah. I actually think that he he may be the face. Wouldn't that be something? Of Tim Bulls, yeah. Wouldn't that be crazy? <laughs> That's where things could get real interesting. Wouldn't that be something, though? Wouldn't that be something? Zach Levine ends up being the, the face of the franchise instead of Andrew Wiggins. I mean, hmm. Yeah, I mean, to me, it's so that he, well, from what I saw, that he has a lot, a lot more tools to work with. Um, he can dribble. Um, it looks like he possibly. I think he. I think he can play the point guard, point guard uh, position, which uh, may spell trouble for uh, a certain point guard who wants a max deal on our team. Uh-huh. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, yeah, he, he's he's more athletic than Wiggins. I mean, we're led to believe oh, yeah. with all the hype that Wiggins was the most uh, athletic guy coming in. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, it looks, it looks like it's uh, Levine. Yeah, his athleticism is off the charts. Insane. Yeah. Uh, they both add like different aspects to, well, I, I suppose the dunking side of the ball. The good news is, ultimately, they add more than just dunking. That, that's the good part. Uh, Levine has that elite shooting guard look to him. He does. At Speed. Least, yeah. And it's like, we know it's preseason and everything, but the skill that comes with it makes... Makes you believe. You know, I mean, certain players have a certain skill, and others don't. Yeah. And there's signs that Zach Levine, if his development continues the way he seems to want to continue it, he can end up being an elite shooting guard in this league. And my goodness. Because <laughs> a lot of people see him as maybe the third or fourth of, like, the prospects. And some maybe second, we'll yeah. say. Um, depending on how you feel about Anthony Bennett, that's a that's going to be interesting to see how that comes out. But Levine's development, man, he certainly has the right attitude. That's for sure. Yeah, and it's like we, we thought the complete opposite when yeah. he got drafted. Yeah, yeah. But he's a gym rat, and um, oh, we have to give credit to uh, uh, Muhammad and uh, Bennett. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, Turioff also for uh, their off-season uh, weight loss. Yeah, very cool. Very impressive, isn't it? Yeah, uh, Bennett looks really good, doesn't he? Yeah. Muhammad, too. Yeah, Bennett, mm-hmm. he, he, he's no longer a chubby guy, heavy guy. Yeah. Um, yeah, he lost a lot of weight, and he's going to lose more. Mm-hmm. And Muhammad, man. Yeah. He, he's ripped <laughs> up. Mm-hmm. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a uh, time... Uh, there for as as shooting guard uh, for Muhammad. Yeah, it's and it's and it obviously with the small forward position, it could be occupied in a huge way. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if Andrew Wiggins is what they hope he is, if he yeah. is a number one overall pick, that's that small forward spot is going to be uh, it's going to have the red occupy button uh, for a long time. So, Shabazz Muhammad, the shooting guard position, may well. 
it gets yeah, it gets interesting because Levine too. I mean, you never know though because maybe he's going to be the point guard. <laughs> there, are, there are a lot of hypotheticals kind of popping yeah. up again, which is I, I, I guess we're used to it, aren't we? Because we're changing way too much. Yeah, because Levine <laughs> would have to be the point guard in order for uh, Muhammad to be on the you know to see uh, any any type of decent minutes. <clears throat> mm-hmm. um, but let me ask you a question: um, Who mm-hmm. do you think uh, uh, Levine? The game will will most like will mostly uh, resemble. Boy, that's going to be very interesting. It's like because <laughs> you know he's, he's friends with uh, Jamal Crawford. But oh, I, think, I can see that. I think a little bit. I think he he'll be maybe jumping the gun here, but mm-hmm. Westbrook smarter. Yeah, smarter Westbrook. Westbrook on the athleticism <laughs> end. In, 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 Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not sure about the defensive. Uh, yeah, yep. yeah. Zach, maybe he does have to work on that. Yeah, I think he has the tools. I mean, he has the speed and the lateral to do to be a great defender. Mm-hmm. Um, he just hasn't really shown a commitment to that yet. But I mean, this is an NBA now. You have to change your your way of thinking. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. Yeah, I, th- I think he he might be uh, our uh, Westbrook. That could be really awesome. You know, that's a really good comparison because I was I was blanking. I was trying to come up with something that could be a less defensive minded Westbrook potentially because he's yeah he's got the quickness, the athleticism, and I'm not sure he's the gunner. But then again, Westbrook wasn't an offensive. He wasn't really a scorer when he first got in the league. Remember, as uh, yeah yeah you you remember that his sure. offense was not that good, and his shooting still isn't that great either necessarily. <laughs> you know, he just. Just because he shoots a lot doesn't mean he's a good shooter. He just just means he shoots a lot. Uh, Levine, maybe because Westbrook's kind of a shooting guard, really. Anyway, yeah, uh, even though he's a, I think so, he's too. a, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. he's like a point shooting or shooting point, whatever you want to call it. Mm-hmm. Where Levine, that might be about the same. That's a great comparison. They have a, um, yeah, they have a similar yeah. uh, yeah. Um, shooting stroke. I mean, mm-hmm. they jump really high for yeah. the shot. Yep, that's, that's hard to defend. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think, and I, I, I don't think, I mean, some people, I think, ah, man, mm-hmm. uh, for, I'm sorry, for Wiggins, yeah. I think Wiggins, Wiggins yep. may Here be his ceiling. He's tough to gauge, isn't he? I think, yeah, uh, yeah I think a, a younger Pippen. That would be great. I think he's mm-hmm. more of a defensive guy yeah. than a scorer. I think he he can score, mm-hmm. but he's more of a of a Pippen than than a than a McGrady. Mm-hmm. I wasn't gonna say Jordan. McGrady, he's more how of dare a you? Pippen than, than a McGrady. How dare you say McGrady? Look at that guy. No, McGrady. <laughs> no, yeah, McGrady did have some awesome moments in in, in Orlando for a couple of years there, like that twenty eight points. I think he had a thirty point season. What's up, McGrady? Should have said uh, uh, Vince Kobe, Carter. Kobe. Kobe, look at Junior Vinces. Yeah, because I, I don't think he's going to be a LeBron. I think he's no. more. He's going to be a defensive guy. Like, I, I wish, I wish, I wish he's going to be a LeBron because that <laughs> means the Wolves would be in the NBA Finals one day, one day. Uh, even though, it, you know, it took Cleveland a while to get there too. So, um, Wiggins' potential—it's—it's it's very interesting. The good part about him. He he does have that competitive that competitive fire that you need from yeah. like a franchise guy. That's awesome to see. Uh, it seemed like he he had a forty point game in, in college in, in his you know it's only his freshman year. That's all he got to do was freshman, or that's all he chose to do. Excuse me. Uh, when they were trailing most of the game, he had that huge forty one point game. I, I'm like blanking who they were playing now. I think it was, it was a good team. Obviously, one of the good teams, and not one of the elites. But I remember they were getting beat pretty bad, and he led them all the way back for a while there. Ultimately, uh, Kansas didn't win the game, but still, I mean, he kept them in the game, yeah. <laughs> big time. A li- little streaky with his shot, though. A little bit. Mm-hmm. But yeah, like you said, um, I-, I like the fact that well, actually, uh, a lot of the guys that came in uh, mm-hmm. have a chip on their shoulder, mm-hmm. and they have something to prove. Yeah, it seemed like every one of them pretty much. Um, maybe not so much Thaddeus, but then again, at the same time, it's his chance to be a, a team captain. Yeah, and he doesn't, yeah, mm-hmm. he's tired of losing. Oh, yeah, I bet. Yeah, they didn't win a lot over there. I mean, they made the, oh, they made the playoffs one year, but it was just once when uh, Doug Collins was the coach. Cut just a, but that was about two years ago now. And then they tanked the hell out of the team. Like, <laughs> like I mean, they stripped that Supreme team. Supreme tank. Yeah, yes. they stripped them naked, you know. <laughs> 
I mean, they brought in a bunch of uh, projects that could, that could end up being studs, though. We'll, yeah. we'll see. You know, yeah, they were, they're not even trying to hide the fact that they're tanking. Yeah, like they're driving tanks around the building and saying, yeah, this is what we're doing. Yeah, it went from <laughs> tank, tank to a, a strategy. Strategy. <laughs> no longer a tank, but this is a strategy for the future. Mm-hmm. They're trying to be like an anti-Blazers, basically. You know, like uh, bring in the guys and then maybe they're, they're already hurt and then save them. Where the Portland brought in the guys and then they got hurt, you know, unfortunately. Or they were they had a degenerate condition, unfortunately. That really must have sucked for them. Uh, I can only imagine. And yes, we're bouncing a little bit because, yeah, I mean, it's kind of like a three-in-one at the same time. It's kind of like this show, it's a free-flowing show. It's kind of like one topic, All it's kind of like all-in-one in a way. It's obviously an off-season show and a lot kind of going on at once. So it's not going to be quite as structured as maybe like a, a show during the regular season. But before we continue the Timberwolves conversation, I should mention our our uh, <laughs> wonderful sponsors from Tallgrass in Manhattan, Kansas. The 8-Bit Pale Ale is the official beer of this podcast. And in the Midwest, basically the whole central time zone of the United States of America, Tallgrass should be available in a liquor store. And for you to make sure where what liquor store it's in and which, which beers they have, go to tallgrassbeer.com. And then click on the uh, beer locator button or find beer button as you scroll down and type in your zip code and uh, you'll see what's uh, available. Uh, highly recommend that 8-Bit Pale Ale, though. I mean, how can you not love that? Pac-Man licking his chops. Isn't that the coolest can you ever see? Yeah, it is. Don't you love it? Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Oh, and it tastes so good. Oh, my God. I love 8-Bit Pale Ale. And right now, for seasonals out there, and I love this beer, the Zombie Monkey, that is the uh, Robust Porter. That's their autumn seasonal. Just came out, and man, it is a good. Oh, my Lord. So, <laughs> if you like porters, you will really like that one, because there's actually more flavor in that one than the average porter, without a doubt. And that's probably why it's a seasonal. It's just that, it's just that good, and they want to make you wait when it's not autumn. Damn it. <laughs> so, yeah, tallgrassbeer.com. And uh, do enjoy. Rock and roll. So, now as we hop back in to... The Kevin Love trade, which is a, a yes. I think I believe a good trade. Um, yes, yep. Some some uh, some of the media didn't think that it was a, a good trade. They thought that That's we crazy. should have uh, <laughs> stuck with uh, Clay, getting Clay Thompson. Oh, you know, do the Warriors trade. Mm-hmm. Um, they, yeah. they weren't trying to give up Clay. They didn't even want to. Yeah, yeah. And from what we saw <laughs> from uh, what his teammate uh, uh, Iguodala was saying that I'll make sure that my boy gets uh gets paid. Oh, Clay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Make sure I'll make sure Clay mm-hmm. gets gets paid. Max contract. <laughs> yeah. I mean, do, as good as Clay is, that's that'll be another situation to deal with. Mhm. Yep. He would want max money. Mhm. And then we have Lee, we have a bunch of extra uh, contracts. Yep. yep. Yep, Lee's got the big contract. He's he's a decent player. He's injury, but he's injury prone, and he's yeah. in his thirty-ish, right? Yep. And he's definitely not as good as Kevin Love, even though in a lot of ways he's comparable to Kevin Love. He was a good reboner and a good shooter and all that good stuff. Remember, we always used to compare him to Kevin Love. I remember how David Kahn, just to piss off Kevin Love, brought him in. <laughs> remember that? He brought him in town like we're like we're gonna try to get him, and he brought him to a Twins game and everything. And it's like, why would you bring a guy <laughs> who's like the same player? What yeah. the hell are you doing? You know. <laughs> This was before Love had blown up, basically. I I can't even imagine what that must have felt like. Uh, like what are you thinking? So, yeah, David Kahn's the best GM ever. I mean, just like uh, Norm Green of the North Stars, the smartest business decision in the history of the world. Um, he, you know how Coke was sponsoring, you know, was working with the North Stars, right? And I know this is going off topic. I apologize, but Coke was working with the North Stars and all and all that. So yeah, when it's time to negotiate a new deal with Coke, what does he do just to try to just to try to be an ass and like make a statement like, oh, we don't we don't need you, so you better you you better you better want us." He pulls out a can of Pepsi and starts sipping it while they're having a conversation. So what does Coke do? Says the hell with you. And what does Norm Green have to do? Uh, like, oh my God, Pepsi, please, please come, come, please, please. Oh my God, look what I've done. You know. Because <laughs> they would have had no like pop, 
or soda or whatever you call it across the world. We we, we say pop here in Minnesota, at, at least some of us. But um, yeah, that was about what kind of manager David Kahn was. <laughs> yeah, and actually showed. I, I was, I have to admit, I was a little nervous and confused at what Flip was doing. I'm like, yeah, okay, yep. Flip, come on, pull the trigger. Because my that whole weird? thing was, yeah. I mean, I, I haven't really hidden the fact that I wasn't the biggest fan of Kevin Love. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yep, yep. But last I think four years, like, yep. get this guy out of here before they realize that he's a huge liability on mm-hmm. the defensive end and he's a crybaby. And injury prone. And a bit of a diva. Mm-hmm. And yeah. accident prone, too. It's like three, like, 15 things there, right? Yeah. It's just, it's just uh, too many problems. And mm-hmm. it was kind oh. of exposed when uh, Gorgie didn't submit to him, when he didn't just say, okay, you know, for every rebound, like a lot of guys just were like, hey, it's your rebound. Okay, oh, yeah. yeah. Put your oh, hands yep. up. It's, it's yep. yours, man. No, you want this double-double. Mm-hmm, yep. Which I, I don't doubt that Kevin <clears throat> kind of made it clear to the to a brewer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look here, man. I, I get the rebounds. I'm the king of rebound over here. Yeah, yeah. If there's a rebound and I'm going to get it, just give it to me. I don't <laughs> think Gordy was going along with that plan. <laughs> Because he no? he was making double doubles towards the end of the season. Wasn't that fun? Wasn't that fun? Yeah, oh. and it kind of showed wow. that hey, yeah. Kevin Love. I mean, you can defend and get rebounds at the same time. And I think we're, yeah, we're going to miss Kevin Love's uh, scoring. But yeah. I think with the new guys we got, uh, with Gorgie's play, uh, defense, and rebounding, that we can make up for that. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of stuff we can make up for, isn't there? Yeah, that's the good part. It's like you think of. Uh, because my one great fear of uh, Mr. the new starting forward for the starting power forward for the time being at minimum, uh, Thaddeus Young, only averages about seven rebounds a game. And I was like, oh, no, that's, that's not that's not a whole lot. But then it's like you yeah. turn around and, and it's like, oh, Pekovic and Gorgie rebound the hell out of the ball, though, when, especially when Kevin loves out. Like, Pekovic rebounds way more. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, uh, Gorgie. Yeah. Woo. yeah, Thaddeus mm-hmm. is good at uh, stealing. Mm-hmm. Stealing yep. the ball. Yep, but and, and another thing is, it, depending on how he plays, we can let him walk or resign him. Mm-hmm. So it's not, you know. Oh yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah. It's not too bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's definitely not a bad. And and if he's if he does work out, he's a really valuable player too. Yeah, he's really solid. Uh, just a couple of days ago, I recorded the Showtime and T Wolves show with Vince to talk about the same trade, <laughs> and then of course include a lot of uh, some uh, Laker conversation as well. So those of you out there that like to hear about multiple basketball teams and hear some fun conversation. Check that out. But but uh, I, I called him a teensy tiny bitch soft. Teensy tiny. That is the weirdest term that just came out of my mouth. And Vince was like, what is that? <laughs> yeah, I thought, yeah, I was calling uh, Thaddeus a little soft uh, offensively. He, he He's kind of more of a jump shooter than anything else. But yeah. even though he does have the athleticism, but yeah, he is kind of, he's not the kind of guy who's going to power down low. He's more of a mm. shooting guard f- power forward, if that makes sense. That's almost what he looks like out there sometimes. And, and um, <clears throat> I think we can probably say the same about uh, Bennett now, since he Ooh, lost all that yeah. weight. Yeah, yeah, he shoots a lot of. Th- he's been shooting threes. Yeah, I mean, yep. I kind of like. I, I wouldn't mind him shooting threes more than I do with Thaddeus. I think Thaddeus oh, yeah. should be down low a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, but I gotta give it to Flip. Great trade. I think Ooh, we God, did yeah. come out with that, especially. Uh, uh, trimming some of the fat on the team. Mm-hmm. We have yep. a lot more trimming. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not just fat. It's like a uh, basically like a uh, a rot. Yeah. Uh, JJ Barre. Yeah, that's it's the a last rot on yep. the team. <laughs> he's still yeah. He's still here, unfortunately. Yeah. So far, uh, another guy. Mm-hmm. Another guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. Um, Kevin Martin, uh, a good scorer, but he belongs on a uh, um, um, a playoff team. Mm-hmm. Right now, yeah, um, paying way too much for him. I, th- I think, um, for his lack of defense, complete lack of defense. Mm-hmm. Has no desire to defend. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I think he, um, yeah. We uh, other than that, I, I think there's more moves to be made. Um, but I think of I think Flip did, has, has done a uh, great job so far with these trades. Yeah, isn't it amazing? He he really has. Um, this this trade was unbelievable, and yeah, you include in uh, Shved and uh, uh, Ma Mute got got included to Philadelphia. Yeah, great. That's uh, kind of cool. Yep. Yeah, you're able to unload Philadelphia, 
gets to, you know, they get to see what they can do with Shred, who knows, and then uh, Mom, Mom, yeah, exactly, <laughs> and then Mom Mute fits in with Mbeed, so apparently they're very well acquainted, so yeah, yeah, that's, that's, right. that's, that's right. helpful, yeah. 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 So, I mean, the way this worked out, this is quite a businessman right here, <laughs> isn't he though? Yeah. Because he showed how comfortable he was with bringing Kevin Love back, oh, and by the way, you got LeBron James saying, Kevin Love needs to be here, Kevin Love needs to be here. Yeah. Kevin yeah, Love needs yeah. to be here. Yeah, and actually, I thought that <laughs> we lost a little leverage with Love saying he only wants to go there. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, we still came away with some guys. I mean, what LeBron LeBron wants overrode whatever Kevin Love could say. It's mm-hmm. like, okay, we have to give you. Because we could have just said we can't sign him next season. You're not going not, to not have enough money mm-hmm. to, to sign Kevin Love. I'm pretty sure Kevin Love doesn't want to sign for, you know, Five mil a season. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, really? <laughs> yep. Yeah, they couldn't have. So it's like, hey, yeah, you have to give us these guys. Yep. Um, yep. Yeah, it was the end of the room. We have taken, uh, um, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot his name, uh, the shooting guard in Cleveland. Oh, uh, do you mean Mo Williams? No. Oh, I'm talking about, oh, we Deion have, Waiters. Deion yeah, Waiters. Waiters. Yep. Sorry, yep. Yeah, um, yeah, he was on the list. Yep. Yeah, they would have taken uh, JJ, but I think Love would have said no to that. Oh yeah, and I and talk bad, but you think and they Cleveland need a, they, yeah, they need a backup point guard. <clears throat> mm-hmm. But um, yeah, JJ's still here. Um, hopefully he. Well, I'm I'm guessing he has uh brought up his stock with his uh FIBA FIBA play. Excuse yeah, me. he did look good out there. Yeah, FIBA World Cup. It's just <laughs> World he doesn't Cup. want to pass. Mm-hmm. You know, he's good at he's good at spurts, and um, he did look good. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Poor uh, yep. I just don't think. I mean, it's just because I don't know if we can blame JJ or Adelman for what happened with that. Mm-hmm. It's hard to say. It's like uh, JJ to an extent, yeah, because he's he's kind of a bit. He's definitely a hothead. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, he's yeah. always like, you know, about yeah, everything. I don't think he's gonna take any diva BS. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, he is. And I think he's only one on the team. Now I shouldn't say the only one, but he showed a lot of backbone by what he said with the. Uh, Ray Allen. Yeah, that was awesome. I don't think anyone, was else, awesome. anyone else on the team would have said anything. <laughs> yeah, wasn't that awesome? That was the one thing. I mean, I had to hand it to him there. That was awesome. Yeah. Like nobody could have handled that better than him that day. It was he was the guy, wasn't he? Yep. He just stood there, like when Ray Allen tried to run at him. He just like, oh yeah, yeah. And he he's said, a, "You're a pussy," you know. Yeah, he's a little bulldog. <laughs> he's, a, he's a little bulldog, but I think yep. I think Adam and wanted uh, a Bibby for our team. Uh, Bibby? Yeah. Mm, oh, okay, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, he wants yep. someone who can shoot. Because Rubio, unfortunately... Yeah, that's a... Oh. <laughs> it does, still doesn't look good in this uh, FIBA, since that's kind of like the... That's kind of like a nice little... It's it's, it's an NBA summer league, I guess you could say. Yeah, yep. NBA, like, international summer league. <laughs> yep. Rubio, what the hell? He's like one of seven, like, two assists, basically. That's kind of what his summer league has looked... Excuse me, FIBA has looked like. Excuse me. It's his Spain basketballs look. He isn't. His shooting doesn't look any better. He, he's supposedly working with a specialist, but yeah, I don't know. I saw a small clip of him doing that. I hope I'm wrong, but small yeah. clip, and I mean like, mm-hmm. I think it was off of uh, <clears throat> his Twitter. Mm-hmm. I think it was like it only lasted like five seconds. Mm-hmm. Five seconds. Mm-hmm. You know, a couple of jump shots. Yeah, you know, it was like wow, he has you know it's a different uh, a different stroke. But different strokes it takes. Okay, sorry. You, sorry, you no, sorry. Think if you're not really excelling in the NBA, pl- playing in uh, the international, yeah, you would think you will start dominating a little bit. You know, mm-hmm. just look decent. Yeah, Barea, you know? we know he can score, of course. Mm-hmm. He's a top scorer. Yeah, isn't that something? Uh, Rubio, we we well, we thought he was uh, getting. He, he had a better shot. Mm-hmm. Um, he's still missing layups. Yeah, what's going on here? He's still missing layups. Um, that doesn't. That that's not a max contract guy. Yeah, because he wants the max. That's what's bugging us. It's not like we hate Rubio. It's just we don't want to hear this max stuff. You yeah. know, we we just don't want to hear it. It's now now's not the time, and it may never be the time. Uh, we'd like it to be. If we'd like it to, we'd like him to go out and be a superstar. But he's not there, and. Regardless if we're from Minnesota, Australia, Texas, it doesn't matter. He, he doesn't matter where we're, you know, if we're homers or not. You know, it, yeah, he's he's not worthy of a max contract. No, 
He's, no. And he's really not that close, is he? Like, we're talking 9, 10 maybe a year, not 15, 20. Or I don't even know if 20 exists unless you're older, but, yeah, that's scaring me. <laughs> Isn't that scary? Yeah, he, like, he's maxed out on his, uh, I was going to give you a, uh, compared to a video game. You don't want any character oh, who's yeah. maxed out in just one one category? Yeah. Yeah, yeah like he, the passing, right? Yeah, he's maxed out on yeah. the passing and the court vision. And the steals. <laughs> yeah, and the steals. Yeah, uh, or he's at least close, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but if he can't shoot in the NBA, I mean, if if uh, San Antonio showed us anything, you have to be able to do it on both ends. Mm-hmm. You have to more, shoot more. and defend. Did they ever show us? Yeah, did they ever show us the last couple of years? Yeah, oh. or at minimum, oh. you your point guard has to make layups, <laughs> make layups, <laughs> wide open layups. Mm-hmm. I mean, come on, Rubio. Mm-hmm. What, what's funny is he did. Oh, oh, were you? Sounded like you still had more, did you? No. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, sorry. Yeah, but yeah, it's he he'll tease us a little bit in spurts at times. Like we'll have a, he'll hit a couple threes, some games, and he'll hit some shots, and then here comes the one for nine again. Yeah. Uh, and no, we're definitely not play, uh, focusing on or dwelling on negative. It's just we're just stating the facts here when it comes to the uh, the max contract situation. Yeah, and, 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 and the how th- it could hurt the team. It could. So, yeah, yeah real quick, the mm-hmm. threes that he makes, yeah, are because he's wide open. Oh yeah, wide yeah. open. Yeah, because like, yeah. he's not even going to shoot that. If he does, yep. is is like it's not going God, in, you know? yeah. You know, so yeah, they they, they they're, they're going to give him space. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but, but then, for a coach, an opposing team to say, um, I'm talking about Spain, mm-hmm. FIBA Spain team, yep. Yep. saying that one of you know their their strategy is to let Rubio shoot. That's mm. bad. Ouch. Yeah. Yeah. It's not helping. They actually did say that, didn't they? Yeah. That's mm-hmm. not really helping your agent get you a max contract. Mm-hmm. Uh, you think mm. that. You would want to want to prove, especially if if you're trying to get a max contract. Yeah, and you need to actually come out and say, um, you know, I don't think I deserve one. Mm-hmm. I, just, I just wanted something decent. Yeah, he's asking I mean, he wants million. that max contract. Yeah, um, you got to score. You got to be able to score, finish mm-hmm. at least. Yeah, it's got to pick up. It needs to improve, and it hasn't yet. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, it I, hasn't yet. Right now, I think Flip is smart enough to not uh, give him anything. Right now, mm-hmm. he's going to say, "Look, man, you, you know, yeah, Flip he even says that you got to show me mm-hmm. that you know you got to you got to show Flip that you deserve this contract." I think last season, unfortunately, Flip was uh, uh, bending to the will of Adelman. Mm-hmm. He was, like, forced to. It seemed like, or at least he was, maybe he was just kind of being, not trying to step on Edelman's toes type of thing. Yeah, I think Edelman had more power than, well, definitely had more power than he should have. Yeah, last year was bad. The reason why we have is uh, guys, system guys here uh, for the, for the, for the contracts that they're on. The Chase? Yeah. I'm pretty sure uh, Martin said, you know, we got to pay me a lot more than uh, this, 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 this four mil. Mm-hmm. If you want me, because I'm sure Adam wants me there. Mm-hmm. Yep. So he got seven. Yeah. Look it's at, not. It's yeah. not the worst thing in the world, but it certainly isn't the best type of thing. It's not the easiest thing to trade. Yeah, and I, I'm. Um, I don't think that uh, Flip. I mean, he likes point guards. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, look at Chauncey. that's his thing. Yeah, Stefan. And, yeah. And I'm pretty sure that Flip was watching Rubio. Mm-hmm. Oh, Chauncey I'm pretty too. sure he's watched. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's watching Rubio play mm-hmm. and saw him miss open layups. Mm-hmm. Come on, man, open layups. That's going to be really an interesting situation, considering the president of basketball operations happens to be a really good point guard coach. Yeah. Is coaching Mickey Rubio in this situation? That's going to be a really interesting situation, yeah, right but, there. Uh, I'm Ooh, pretty, boy, I won't say this now. Mm-hmm. It's my forecast. Mm-hmm. Well, here it comes. I th- I believe that by him liking Muhammad the way he does, mm-hmm. he's going to try to find uh, minutes for him. Yes, and yep. if that's at shooting guard, and so be it. Um, he likes uh, Zach Zach Levine. Yeah, if that's at point guard, that's where he's going to get his minutes. If it's at Ooh, yeah. if it's starting. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Point guard. Uh oh. Looks like he can do that. Take over the reins. Mm-hmm. 
and Rubio can't shoot, Rubio will be a backup or just be traded or let go. Wouldn't that be something? Yeah, if the, depends on how Levine. Yeah, if Levine actually develops into a point guard, that would be something else, like a big point guard. Yeah, if we were gonna have or, like a big team. Yep. Yeah, yeah, like 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 a Westbrook. And then lot. and then uh, Rubio can come off the bench. <laughs> Zach moves a shooting guard. Mm-hmm. Like a. Uh, uh, was it Bobby Jackson? Mm-hmm. Oh, Bobby Jackson, yeah. The Who Wiggins. I really like. Oh, yeah, the, that he's a part of the organization, yeah. I like Bobby. I don't know if they can afford him. Hmm? Bobby Jackson? You mean to be the No, Kimbo's? from the North. Uh, his name, excuse me, is his name Bobby Jackson? <laughs> Which the, one? Uh, off Oklahoma. Oh, oh, uh, Reggie Jackson. Reggie, yes, yeah, you're thinking about right. Bobby Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, yep. Yeah, Reggie no, Jackson. And, and like it happens. Jackson. It happens. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. Bobby Jackson. <laughs> yeah, he's part of the Wolves. Uh, he's part of the Wolves uh, <laughs> player development still. He's, yeah. he's still here, which is cool. <laughs> Even though him and Flip didn't get along when he was a player, if you if you remember way back in the day, I'm surprised before, Chauncey's not here by now. I'm surprised we didn't hear anything about that since uh, re- he announced his retirement. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, I'm, now I'm getting teary eyed. Just like a waving goodbye to my Grand Prix right now. Chauncey's here. Oh, Chauncey. <laughs> I'm gonna miss him a lot. You know, he wasn't very good his last two years, it's a new but era. It's a new era. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't very good his last two years, but still, oh man, ode to Chauncey Billups. <laughs> oh man, wow, Mr. Big Shot. Oh, I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Really gonna miss Chauncey Billups. Loved him with Denver the second time, not the first time, but actually, I liked him the first time. I liked him the first time when he because he scored a trillion points with Nick Van Exel. But <laughs> but that was like one of those small backcourts that scored too much and defended zero. <laughs> but his second stint with Denver, man, he helped turn that team into a stud team before Carmelo did his did his thing down in New York. Oh, yep, yeah, he's a uh, yeah, he's yeah, he's he's his chances of winning a championship are <laughs> slimmer than the Timberwolves right now. I'll tell yeah, you that definitely. they're slimmer. I think the Wolves are more likely to win a championship. That Carmelo Anthony is with the New York Knicks. There it is in black and white, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, it's pretty much over for the Knicks. Yep. The Timberwolves Explosion crew right here. The duo, the hollow notes of basketball radio are, are predicting that Timberwolves would win a... This Timberwolves lineup would win a championship before the next one would. <gasps> Can I say that? Yeah. Okay. Okay, now I know. Now oh, P-Mac's going to kill me from the crossover. <laughs> He's like, Joey... We need to have a little talk. No, <laughs> that'd be about it. Yeah, I love that guy's voice, by the way. Uh, look at me. I'm like got ADD here. Sorry, I'm bouncing around so much. But then again, the whole show's kind of that way just because it's kind of an all-at-once type of situation. <clears throat> Andrew Wiggins, I'm trying. I'm having a hard time gauging him. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I do think he's got a chance to be really good. It's just there's, it's, the sample size is too small. That's that's the that's yeah. what the bottom line is. Just like uh, just like guys like that also went number one overall were uh, John Wall and Kyrie Irving, and until Wall finally started to look better this this year, it took him forever. Yep. Where Irving, it was like boom. I mean, I thought Irving was going to take forever to develop into a, a good player because he missed a ton of time when he was when he played only one year in Duke. He missed like half the season. And then he comes in, boom! He's like rookie of the year, like like no <laughs> doubt. Yep. I really pray to God that's Wiggins right there. Oh, wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> I just don't know. Oh who... man, it's a, the sample size was so small, and him yeah. and Parker both got kicked out of the NCAA tournament real early, and that was disappointing, wasn't it? I just hope Wiggins <laughs> doesn't turn out to be uh, Rudy Gay. Oh, oh Lord, please no. Oh. And there he is, right there. Yep, yeah. they're replaying the the championship game here of FIBA. It's unfortunate that that World Cup isn't quite as big as the the soccer one this past summer. But but yeah, Rudy Gay is one of those guys. He's he's just he's okay. He's he's good, but he's never never yeah. going to be a franchise player. And when and it seemed like whenever he missed time with Memphis, they were better, didn't it? They they'd actually go on playoff runs and stuff. And it's like, oh, Rudy Gay's back this year. Oh, here we go. And then they wouldn't be as good. Yeah, the, th- the thing with uh, Wiggins is I think at minimum he'll be a great starter because of his defense. Yep, that's probably the big difference right there. Yeah, you tapped on that. His defense is elite. That's 
what's really exciting, and that's what's got some people comparing Wiggins to like another Garnett, possibly. Yeah, uh, at least defend. Mm-hmm. Uh, make, I'm pretty sure he, he can score. Yeah. I mean, yeah. he's not going to be Kobe. You know, Kobe? He's not going to score. You know, he's not going to have a 20 points a game, I don't think. Mm-hmm. Um, but or, or, or you mean 30? Yeah. You mean 30, yeah. Like 20, maybe. I, I, I would hope 20. 20? I would hope so. Like not not as a rookie, hell no. Oh, but, yeah, I'll say yeah. But like oh, ca- career wise, oh yeah. ceiling, ceiling. Yeah. I would hope it'd be more than twenty. Yeah, but yeah, finish at the rim. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I like I like Wiggins, but I again I like I like Zach more. More, he's a little bit more exciting, right? Yeah, yeah a little more exciting. <laughs> yeah, and Zach, it's like he's another guy. You know, you pray to God he's not another Gerald Green, but I I don't think so. Yeah, I hope he doesn't I don't turn into so. Swaggy P. That's the last. Whoa. Is that Dang. Gerald Green? Yeah. No, uh, 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 uh Levine. Oh, oh, or, uh, uh, Swaggy P. P. Swaggy P's, uh, uh. I don't know why I'm blanking. <laughs> he's, 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 he's young. Kobe? Oh, okay. Yeah, yep. Young? Oh, from mm-hmm. on the Lakers. Uh, oh, yeah, Nick Young. Nick yeah. Young. Nick Young. Excuse yeah, me. yeah, yep. Nice player, but yeah, he's not, he's another guy who's not going to really change a franchise or anything. I mean, Lakers didn't have a very good year, did they? Like Jerry, I'm gonna kill you. Oh, they're not gonna have good, Vince, any. They're not gonna have good years. Vince is gonna kill me. I mean, they they did get Julius Randle though. That's the good part. And his team actually did go really far in the NCAA tournament. Unlike and it Wiggins and Parker, will be his team whether Kobe is there or not. Kobe, Kobe. I don't know what I don't know what to think about the Lakers. Oh man, <laughs> it's just not looking good. <laughs> yeah, they it, it's. It's unfortunate, you know, for them. It, it really is. I mean, you know, Carlos Boozer, empty stats. Yeah. Jeremy well, got Lynn. Yeah. Lynn, yep. Lynn. Lynn's all right, you know. I, I don't know what to think of him either. He's another one of those guys. He just... <laughs> I, I don't know, you know. I mean, I, that New York Nick thing, that was definitely a flash in the pan, though, wasn't it? That yeah. was a flash in the pan. I mean, yeah, 28 points a game, but it lasted, it, it was, it lasted way longer than I thought. But then when it went away, it went away, you know? It never came back. Lynn Sanity was a flash in the pan. Some people believe that that could come back again, and I do believe the guys in court side have, have said that. I mean, he's definitely <laughs> going to have a chance to. Being Hank McCoy. Yeah, he'll have a chance, yeah. I mean, the, he's got more of a green light than he did in Houston. Yeah. Houston, he had no green light. It was like, nope. <laughs> Even though Mr. Uh, Byron Scott's talking about starting... Like Brett Favre at quarterback. I mean, Steve Nash at quarterback at point guard. If you know what I mean, he's just too old for that. Look at me, Showtime and Timberwolves Part Two Point Oh here. <laughs> but well, it's like, oh, why not? Yeah, we're just having fun. It's it's an off season show, and you know, there's a, there's we're catching up too. So I mean, because a lot of stuff has happened since the last show. Oh, and yeah, and LeBron went to Cleveland. In case we, I don't even know if we <laughs> talked about that on no. Super Super State of the Timberwolves. LeBron went to Cleveland. I had a lot to say about all that. I mean, all, all that <laughs> stuff lined up perfectly for us. Uh, oh, I was so excited. LeBron yeah. going to Cleveland. Cleveland yep. getting the first pick. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Remember how upset we were? Like, I, I was especially about Cleveland. How the bleep are they getting all these number one picks? And then it ended up all being for Minnesota. <laughs> yeah, these, these jerseys are weird. They're making the players look weird. Those USA jerseys. I don't know. It's making the players look funny, <laughs> but um, something about the way they're designed. But no, I mean back to back number one picks, and we ended up yeah. getting both of them. <laughs> something should be done about that. I mean, I say that uh, you know when we get the first, when we got two first round picks. Yeah, then we get the first overall, <laughs> first overall. Yeah, yep. yeah. The, the way we benefited it from the buffet, I can't even talk. The way we, <laughs> there's so many reasons how we benefited too. It's yeah. obviously LeBron going to Cleveland. It's like every star aligned. LeBron. Goes to Cleveland. Oh my God! It actually happens, and this was after Cleveland already already was interested in Kevin Love, even without the possibility or out the guarantee of LeBron going there. And then Love said, "No, I'm not going to commit to signing there because I, I don't know what the future is there." Even though Kyrie and Kevin Love would probably be a nice duo, LeBron and Kyrie, gee, many Christmas. Yeah. Um, I mean, the stars aligned. You know, the, they got the number one pick, which happened to be Andrew Wiggins, which uh, just a year ago we were talking about the Wiggins sweepstakes. And then, of course, they get the number one pick last year who ended up having a, a rough year because of health problems. You know, the asthma, sleep, apnea, that being Anthony Bennett, of course. Yeah. Uh, uh, what was the, obviously, weight problems. I think there was one other thing. 
as well. Back, I believe. Shoulder, shoulder. Yep. So all that goes wrong. So now he's like super available. You know, if, if, <laughs> you get two guys that might end up being really good. I mean, no guarantee Bennett's going to be any type of franchise power forward, but if he develops into a legit, above, well above average starting power forward, the Wolves really got a haul here. Holy I cow. Think huh. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. Like a legit, above average, maybe even a guy that makes an all star team or four or three or something. Yeah, I know one thing is. <laughs> It's going to be really exciting to watch us play, win or lose. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, that's something that Edelman just destroyed. Ugh. He murdered the, the possibility. The excitement of mm-hmm. our team. Mm-hmm. I mean, even... Uh, I don't bring him, I'm going to bring him, bring him up again. Uh-oh. <laughs> Who's that? I'm not. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> You're like, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I bring him up too much. I was going to say the, the, the <laughs> center... That uh, a power forward that uh, I've really enjoyed, and that uh, the fans uh, at the Target Center uh, called MP um, MP M- MP three <laughs> MP three MP three. No, that was that was uh, the MVP. That was uh, yep. That was the former. That, that's the former Tennessee Titans running back. But no, I'm kidding. <laughs> the of course the, uh, the yeah the center that we ended up cutting. My goodness, just just like that, cut him. Didn't even let him play in the preseason. <laughs> But no, I mean, yeah, Adelman didn't want to play anybody that wasn't his guy. And even though there were two first round, two first round picks, he still didn't play him. But yeah, that was that was topic du jour, topic du jour of of 2013, 2014, wasn't it? I mean, the Timberwolves season, the state of the Timberwolves, the title of the entire season was Adelman didn't play the rookie. <laughs> that was yeah, the title of the season. It was frustrating. Every game is like. Mm-hmm. If we're losing by 20, if we're winning by 20, it's like, okay. Didn't even matter, yeah. yeah please give the garbage minutes to the rookies, please. They're, these guys are way too good to be just nope. rotting him. Here comes Hummel and <laughs> JJ <laughs> yeah. and Shved. It's like, yeah. what is going on? That was really weird. And then in the year before, Steam's Mutt. It's like, oh, come on. You yeah, know, Dante, oh, Dante yeah. at center. It's Dante like, Culpepper. Please give, just please give Gorgie some minutes at center. You really have please. Dante out there. Wasn't that funny? <laughs> I still, yeah, it was funny. And I'm so glad that's over. Thank God in heaven. Yeah. Because uh, Flip Saunders, oh, good. Oh, just because I'm really good, still confused to uh, at, at why we even re-signed uh, Hummel. Yeah, we actually, did, we cut him and then brought him back. Yeah, I, I, mean, I don't know. Is that for motivation hmm. for uh, uh, Muhammad? May I, maybe. I mean, there there were... He's got to be mad. I'm sure yeah. the last face he went to see was Hummels. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because he, he, he took all his, He took the minutes that could have been Shabazz's at times. Yeah. And I like Hummel to an extent. I think he's a nice shooter off the bench, but not at the expense of Shabazz Muhammad. Oh, yeah, that was ridiculous. Wow. Yeah. Not at the expense of Shabazz Muhammad, who, you know, obviously he's a huge topic coming in again. Flip Saunders is the coach this time, and that that's exciting for... Shabazz Muhammad's prospects. Gorgie Zhang is going to get a ton of minutes, no matter what. Yes. But Shabazz, Shabazz is the other guy that I think the minutes will increase. The question becomes how much because of the other players. Yeah. But, uh... Yeah, because of course we want to develop uh, uh, Wiggins. That's what yep, I'm saying. Yep. It's like, how are we going to give... Because we still have, uh... Our... I guess I can say our vets. Can you say our vets? Semi vets, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Um, Brew, we still have Corey. Uh, oh, yeah. Corey's a veteran already. Wow. Uh, Martin. He's super he's a veteran. Here. Yep. JJ's yep. still here. Ugh. Um, Damn it. <laughs> I can't even say Air Bud anymore. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. The ground still- ground Bud. <laughs> Dog, dog bone, no, air, <laughs> dog bone bud. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, who? Uh, someone has to go and someone has to sit. I mean, but I think Flip will give the majority of the minutes to our rookies. Mm-hmm. And I think he will experiment with having uh, Gorgie at power forward. I mean, he hinted to that already. That's um, good, yeah. But I don't really think so now just because of Thaddeus. Ooh, but I yeah. think and Bennett, yep. Yeah, and mm-hmm. Bennett too. I, I think... I think towards second half of the season, we may see Gorgie at uh, power forward um, along with Peck just mm. to see how that goes. I mean, you, with Adam, man, it was kind of like 
let's just try that out at least to see what yeah. it looks like. Yeah, <laughs> please, know? please, please. You yeah. know, even a garbage <laughs> match. Please just put Gorgi in with the, uh, uh, excuse me, with Peck. Just yep. for defensive reasons. Or Gorgi with love, just something, just shake it up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Never happened. Shake it up. Yeah. <laughs> we, actually, we, did we even see. Uh, we did we even we we didn't even see uh Schwed at point guard. Oh yeah, no, it never happens. <laughs> even though they kept talking about it, you know he yeah. could be point guard, and then it's like, eh, no, eh, yeah, J J J J J J J J J J J J. That's all yeah. it ever was. And the good news, all prospects. Oh yeah, because well, there's multiple reasons. J J is probably going to get bought out. So the good news is, I don't think he's coming back. Ultimately, he's still here now, but I do think he's gone before. Uh, the, the October training camp and all that good stuff, which is well, only weeks away. I don't even know if you, he, do you think if he'll, he'll be back? Bought out. You don't think so? I think most of his problems were Are with, traded. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think most likely he'll get traded because mm-hmm. I, I think it was mostly Adelman treating him like he was a star here, giving him the green <laughs> or a light. Starter, yeah, 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 yep. yeah. yep. giving him the green light. Mm-hmm. But you got to admit that he he won't back down from a situation. Um, we did like that, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, obviously, you know, multiple ones. Ray Allen was the most famous yeah, one. but it was just too many. Even Love himself. Huh. Yeah, just Oops. the Wolves need an edge. Some type of, I, I mean, I hate using this word, I just say too much. Some type of swagger yeah. for the team. Yeah, we're too damn nice. That's yeah. the problem. Or just uh, timid. Yeah. Timid's a huge uh, word. Yeah. Shved was the king of timid, by the way. Yeah, and we're supposed to be the Wolves. Mm-hmm. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> we got to have some teeth. You know, yeah. Wiggins and Bennett seem awfully nice, but hopefully their their talents prove otherwise. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, and I, I don't know who's working. <laughs> I hope so. The, uh, they seem extremely nice, by the way. Yeah, I don't know who's doing the advertising mm-hmm. on the uh, the Wolves' uh, uh, official website, but uh, I don't know if you saw it. So uh, it was also in the, in the newspaper. Um, mm-hmm. Said that the Wolves are ready to pounce. I hope so. Pounce. What's this pouncing? No, yeah, I can get really? better. To, yeah, that sounds like a cat, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I, I just thought about the links. Oh, the wolves ready to pounce. Come on. <laughs> it's just like it's oh, always uh. something wrong with the team, and it's like <laughs> anyone with any type of any type of common sense. And then you got the glass cleaner. You know, he he just gets out the Windex. Like, what does that have to do with the hill of beans? You don't remember that? Yeah, if I was if I was Wiggins' <laughs> next contract, I would say I'm not resigning until you change that logo. Mm-hmm. Come on, listen to that. How about the barista? He he makes coffee for you. It's like, what does that have to do with anything? <laughs> the barista? Oh. I mean, come on, guys. Jeez. What's next? Zach Levine's going to start selling real estate? Like, because he's going to be the Levine machine in uh, Glen Gary, Glen Ross? Right. <laughs> Look at all these references. This is any uh, common sense from, you know. It's time to take a bite out of. Losing. There we go. Bite out of crime, bite out of losing. Let's take a bite out of losing. How about that? So you show that L with a big chomp, you know, from a tooth, you know, from 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 wolf wolf teeth, you know. How about that? I mean, they hit the nail with the with our secondary logo. Yeah, I like I that. Like, I like that. Yep. Yeah, it's kind of got old school meets new, yep. like kind of like what the Warriors have done in Golden State with those extremely good u- uniforms. Yep. I gotta admit, I love. No, no, it's not, it has nothing to do with the wolves, but I love the <laughs> new the new Charlotte, Charlotte uh, court. That's amazing. Isn't that great? Yeah. We got to hand it to MJ, don't we? MJ and the uh, Charlotte Hornets. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Uh, uh, they exist. Yeah, I liked our court at good? first because it was something different. Mm-hmm. But now, uh, not so much now. Yeah, the Hornets court. Oh, man, I can't... Oh. And that is a playoff team. That's what's exciting. They went from like the doldrums of hell, NBA hell, to actually a nice, a nice like team. They are pretty good. That that, that acquisition of a guy named uh, huh, that guy named Al Jefferson. Holy cow! You know, I mean, yeah. But it's it's kind of sad it that that a lot of teams basically did a do over uh, with this draft. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it seems like it, doesn't it? Oh, elaborate! Oh, I'm sorry. This with the this with this year's draft draft picks. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, the old Hornets and the new Hornets courts look really cool. Oh, like uh, with the draft picks, yeah. Yeah. 
No, we're distracted by looking at that court. We're just mesmerized right here, and that's what's a great court. That's what the Hornets' uh, ra- opponents are going to be mesmerized. I think that's that's yeah. awesome. And uh, well, actually, Man. I think the Wolves' court with mm-hmm. our colors. I mm-hmm. think we should stick with that uh, the black uniform, and maybe get rid of the blue or change the 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 color. Mm-hmm. Make it make the blue a little darker. Um, and I, I love the uh, um. The Lakers court and the mm-hmm. uh, Brooklyn. Yeah, that's court, pretty good. Brooklyn. End. Yeah, that's yeah. kind of cool. Look at us bouncing all over the place. But yeah, I think but then like again, the future for happens. the Wolves is yep. great right now. I yeah. mean, the courts aside, the Target Center. Yeah, even um, if it's the oldest, you know, if it's the newest or the oldest arena, the positivity is, is up. Oh, yeah, it's way up. But Max, mm-hmm. ex- expectations are, I don't know if we're going to win a lot of games, but it's going to be exciting to watch mm-hmm. this is no more frustration of why is homo on the court right now <laughs> yeah <laughs> i mean if he plays a teeny bit okay but not again oh, not I, at the expense of certain there, there's, guys yeah. there's no room if you think yeah. of our rookies he probably can't huh yeah, there's no room for homo so he'd just be like an injury replacement type of yeah. thing yep and then if he does well so be it and he can win a job somewhere or whatever you know or buy him out or buy him out. <laughs> RG3. He's not even signed for us yet. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. Oh, so. that's right. Yeah, that's right. Rob. Why am I? Uh, you mean Glenn Robinson? Yeah. yeah. GR, right? The, uh, the other RG3. <laughs> GR3. Yep. Glenn Robinson, the third. Yeah, it's kind of hard to say what's going to happen with him. He was a good overall solid player in college with uh, yeah, another good Michigan. Another yeah. uh by, um... <coughs> excuse me. Oh, it's hard. Yeah. By Flip. Yeah, uh, what's that? That's another good pick by a uh, flip. Yeah, yeah, he's he's got that overall game to him that it's it's helpful. And obviously, his college game was held back a bit, like as Hank McCoy said, held back a bit because he was kind of taking one for the team, so to speak, in college. So perhaps we'll see. Well, uh, perhaps we'll see him play actually better at the next level, which would be very cool. So sometimes that does happen. Some guys have an okay college career and explode later, so we shall see with that one. Uh, any parting thoughts you may have at, on Kevin Love? I figure you got a lot uh, pinned up. We we we, we better say something. Uh, I'll, I'll say, <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna go the uh, the Glenn route. Uh oh, another yeah. Another what the hell? Another reference to that one, that great movie. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, that I'll, guy. I'll, I'll just say good luck. Oh, Oh, when you said Glenn, I thought you meant Glenn Taylor, all the stuff yeah, you were saying. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, that's exactly what you meant. Yeah, yeah. okay. Um, you say good luck. <laughs> just good luck, that's all. Good luck. <laughs> and, um, well, we we got rid of some bad blood this off. Oh, wait. <laughs> Remember how he said that when we got rid of, like, Beasley and stuff? And and uh, uh, a- Anthony Randolph. I'm getting all these names mixed up. Greg Anthony, Anthony Randolph, Zach Randolph. You know what I mean? There's a million... So it's ultimately Anthony Randolph who doesn't exist anymore, I don't think. Uh, Kevin Love had some bad blood to him. That, there's no doubt. I was fooled a bit when he got named as starting power forward for the All-Star team for the first time. And the way he was like, I'm so pleased to represent the Twin Cities and Minnesota and all that. I got fooled a little bit. And normally I don't get fooled by that kind of stuff. That's the sad part. Uh, he did a Percy Harvin. He wanted the hell out of here, and he wasn't coming back, and there was yeah. nothing we could do about it. Yeah, he just disappeared yeah. in the All-Star game. Mm-hmm. That was funny. He, <laughs> he pretty much just stood there. Yeah. He pretty much just stood there like with his hands like this, like, okay, well, if, you, if you give me the ball, great. If not, eh, you know, that's just part of the. Yeah, that's I, just part of life. I think he's going to be exposed. It's going um, to be very interesting to see how that turns out. Yeah. Huh. Like, we're talking really interesting, isn't it? It's going to be a dose of reality if uh, anyone there, I hope not, uh, gets injured on, mm-hmm. on the Cavs team. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyone anyone yeah, of the big three. Of the big three, the super the super, the super young big super three here. Because LeBron's the old guy this time. It's kind of weird. Because he was yeah. definitely the young guy in uh, Miami. Yeah, LeBron never fooled me with that uh, so-called uh, he wrote himself... Uh, letter saying that he wants to be a mentor to the young guys. Ugh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no. <laughs> he wants to win. He's not going to sit there. Mm-hmm. Not... <laughs> and that's why, and that's exactly why he's he like, didn't even... That's what the coaching staff is for, teaching them how to play. I mean, I come here to... <laughs> yeah. 
And that's why he so awkwardly, awkwardly avoided Andrew Wiggins in discussion the entire time. Yeah. Remember that? Right when he got there? I'm so pleased to be, you know, working again with Vera Zhao and working with Kyrie Irving and Tristan Thompson and blah, blah, blah. Wait, what? You got the number one pick here. What's going on? And Anthony Bennett, you didn't mention either one? Remember that? That was kind of goofy. And I got to say this real quick. My overall take on LeBron and Cleveland and all that good stuff and how I liked him on the Heat. I did. And I know everybody out there hated him so much on the Heat. And every time he had cramps or he lost a game or whatever, we had to put a picture of him crying or this or that. You know what I mean? <laughs> they, everybody jumped on that, right? They have to make fun of him for that. So immediately he goes to Cleveland and everybody's back on his jock like they were when he was in Cleveland before. And then these are the same people that had pictures of him wincing and crying when he was on Miami. And it's just the hypocrisy to me yeah. is off the freaking charts. Off the charts. Yeah, the, the yeah. <laughs> It's so not fair. Like, people what's going on? People on the radio are crying. It's like, really? And these are the same people he that... He loves us. He, he has yeah. a forsaken us. Yeah. Like <laughs> and they, these people wanted him dead. Yeah. I mean, they burned jerseys. They ripped down massive, like, massive posters. They sold his jersey at the same... I don't know what it was, the same year of Benedict Arnold. They same his, they sold his jersey price, his jersey, his Cleveland jersey at the time, at the price of Benedict Arnold, like the owner. He had a note to LeBron about how he was Benedict Arnold on the website yeah. until the week LeBron signed there. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah, it's not like he took it off and forgave, forgave him. It was like, no, this it's is like, how I feel. Oh, he might actually come back? Oh, hey, yeah, are you serious? Better, you better, you better, uh, uh, you better... You better take that thing off real quick here. It just it wasn't there. We just uh shoot. Hopefully he didn't notice it was still there all this time. Oh LeBron! Hey! Come in. Come in. <laughs> oh, just on my laptop. Just checking out uh, a couple sites. So. LeBron's back in Cleveland. <laughs> oh retweet, retweet, you know, favorite, favorite, you know, seven yeah, bajillion he meant everything. All that stuff. He meant <laughs> every word. <laughs> I, I'm so glad I finally was able to get this off my chest because I was getting just I was just getting angry as all get out, mm. angry. I was just oh, I was rubbing is, up. It, it, I mean, he's only he's only going to be there for two seasons, uh, at least as of his yeah as of his contract yeah. Because the other thing too, see, it's like you look at this whole situation. He left Cleveland because he was like they're not going to win a championship. It doesn't look like they're going to win, so I'm going to go to Miami. So Miami wins a couple t- titles, they lose the first one, then they win two, and then, oh boy, this last series looked like, ah, they're not going anywhere after this year. So, oh, I'm gonna, okay, I got an idea. I got it. Wow, Kyrie Irving's there, and, you know, I wonder if they, they, they tried to get Kevin Love, maybe we could do, huh, I could reform a big three and come out as a hero by going back home. Yeah. Even though it has nothing to do with going back home, it's about the possibility of another Miami team in Cleveland. And the yeah. fact that people couldn't see that, and they just think he's such a hero for going home, and he's so sweet, they got fooled. They got fooled. <laughs> he left Miami because they weren't going to win another title. <laughs> oh, yeah. If the Heat went out there and ha- hammered those Spurs in five games, <laughs> if the Heat hammered the Spurs in five games for that championship, do you think he's going to go home to Cleveland? <laughs> you guys are fooled. You guys are fooled. You guys are fooled. Yeah. I- oh. I'm not even following Love anymore, but is he? Oh, do, no. do you know if he's even signed? Uh, well, he's no. Uh, he, he's not he's, even signed yet, right? That's the thing. I guess the plan is he opts out next year and then signs a five-year, hundred and twenty million dollar contract. That's, I guess, what is believed to be happening. Even though it's, we don't. Oh, we don't want to tell them that he already agreed to it because then watch they void everything, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Plus, like, it's, don't it's say like, it. Will, will he even? Uh, <laughs> Sign a multiple year. Would he do the same thing LeBron did? Sign for wouldn't that be one something? year and like mm-hmm. an option? Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know. Wouldn't that be something? But yeah, supposedly it's five years, one twenty. That it's gonna ultimately be like maybe it's a nudge, nudge type of thing with you don't put it in writing type of deal, unlike uh, the Joe Smith contract which was put in writing. <laughs> but LeBron, I guess supposedly this one, this two year thing has to do with the fact that the. Uh, Something to do with the the salary cap and his yeah. his uh, yeah that's really what it is like he wants to stay there the rest of his career. We'll see. I mean, if Cleveland gets their ass kicked by the Spurs, uh, who knows? <laughs> He's gonna go to the Spurs next. I actually had a dream that he signed with the Spurs. How funny is that? 
Uh, uh, Sorry, I like went ran too long there. Go ahead. He, no, he may even. Jeez. <laughs> Look at me bringing up this whole broad thing near the end of the show here. But hey, it's the, the, I mean, given, with the salary cap going radio. up. They may he he may even talk to them and say, "Hey, look, we can get a fourth guy in here if you take a little less." Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, look, you never know. Kept going up. I mean, take if you take, yeah. take a little. Yep. Look, we did it in Miami. Strategic. You know you want to win. Mm-hmm. Take a little less, so we can get another guy in here. Come mm-hmm. on, how about it? We will use Maybe our talk a little bit to it. I mean, you say, Night. yeah. Look here, man. I can get you connected with. Uh, you can get a contract with Nike. You can have some Nike commercial. You know. Oh yeah, I mean, Love's endorsements could go off the could go up to the moon with a guy like 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 LeBron in his corner. Yeah, I can go back, put on my old guy makeup, and <laughs> we can do some commercials with you and mm-hmm. Kyrie. Mm-hmm. Look at that team. That's a, that's a lot of talent. Yeah, so they can <laughs> actually get four guys in there. It's possible. I mean, yeah, because a guy that's maybe a little bit a little bit older that wants to win, but still has a lot of tread on the tires, so to speak. Yeah. Maybe Chris Bosh. No, actually, no, that's not going to happen. Well, Bosh is there. What that. am I talking about? I'm an idiot. He's settled. That's the worst. <laughs> that might go down as the worst contract in the oh, history of the yes. NBA. Yeah. yeah. Unless Bosh could <laughs> turn to the, the Toronto Bosh. And even better. You know? Yeah. I can't believe what the I thinking this was the third option on a team. <laughs> this is the third option, <laughs> you know. And reduced them to just a three point shooter. Man, this. He, I'm sure he's better than he appeared because of that. The way things are set up on that team. Which yeah, but he didn't say but, he, he doesn't bang anymore. He doesn't. Oh yeah, know, he that, doesn't like that. He doesn't like the contact anymore. I, I just don't understand it. Uh, five years, a hundred and eighteen million dollars. I can't believe it. A hundred and eighteen for Chris Bosh. I don't care how good the weather is, Ooh. Miami. No one's going there anytime soon. Oh, my heart rate is like I can't breathe right now. I mean, when I still remember when I got that, <laughs> and yes, you could tell this is an off-season show and we're catching up and we're enjoying the hell out of it. This is this is old school Timberwolves explosion, man, right here. This is like 2010 again, isn't it? Yeah. This is old school 2010 Timberwolves explosion when we used to get you know. Oh man, we used to have so much fun with these, but not that we don't now. We're enjoying the hell out of this. Uh, <laughs> 118, though. I mean, I, I just can't fathom it. Wade, obviously, much cheaper and all that and shorter. And he's slower. probably... And slower, too. And, yeah, he's, he's like buying an older car, like a 2003 uh, car. <laughs> because that was good. It was really good, but it's an 03, and it's got 180 miles, 180,000 miles on it. So, eh, you know, he, he, we'll see. Right? <laughs> That's the yeah, Wade situation. I don't situation. know what's going on with the... Uh, well, I do know what's going on with Wade. I mean, this man, I don't know why they would do that. I, I, that was really for weird. so much for so long. Were they that worried about, like, we got to sign somebody, you know? I mean, because I, I know Bosch got a... I, I thought Houston was stupid offering him 90. Remember that? Yeah. I was like, Houston's really going to give him 90. Wow, they're going to regret that contract, yeah, man. way too much for, for Bosch. And then Miami offers him 28 more. <laughs> and it's like, where do I sign... <laughs> but she was like, wait, wait a minute, what now? How much? That can't be right, right? It's like, because <laughs> it's like, you think 18.8, let's imagine that 18, no, yeah, like 18.8 million a year or something would be cheaper than this contract. This is Joe Mauer level, guys. Joe Mauer, $24 million, $23 million, pardon me. Yeah, I, oh. the good thing is, I... With with LeBron going back to Cleveland, yeah, is is it's probably going to help small markets. Yes, yep. And another good it thing shows it shows is, that it's possible. Yeah, yep. and I, I'm thinking they they have to show more Timberwolves games. Oh my God, yeah, I I would hope so. Yeah, especially with these two Canadians here, and I guess Toronto. Not to be all like oh Canadian Canadian all that about it, but yeah, no we, to, we, Toronto. Oh yeah, go ahead. Just by having Wiggins, mm-hmm. we, we, we there should be more uh, televised uh, games. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yep. Yeah, and hopefully by having that, I mean the whole you know it's you know some players yeah might want the nightlife, um, mm-hmm. especially rookies. <laughs> yeah, but players like LeBron and Bosh. Kobe? They're like, look, we got yep. we have families. Yeah. We just yep. care about the school system. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yep. This is the basics, you know. Um 
But yeah, if you want the family life here, yeah, it's great. Um, yeah, we're not 24 hours, like, uh, partying 24-7, like, uh, <laughs> New York. Yeah. But it's not, it's not the Arctic here. Mm-hmm. No, it's not. It's really not. I mean, this is not the worst destination in the world, yeah. and our springs are beautiful, so if you go on a playoff run, you will love, as long as there's no polar vortexes now, <laughs> since it murders springs, it seems like, but... Yeah, as long as there's, as long as we don't have polar vortex situations like the last year or so, uh, you'll have a very beautiful spring um, in this state, uh, which would be during the playoff run. So uh, you, it's it's worth it. Think about it that way. Would you rather be in extreme humidity in Miami and burn up? I, I don't know. I don't like that kind of weather. Uh, yeah, that's the nice thing. Yeah, Phoenix. I mean, I, I would take uh, cooler weather in mm-hmm. the summer. Yeah. Than I would take a winter than than uh, uh, 120 degrees. Oh yeah, yeah. Really though, I mean, I don't like that. Yeah, I hate Houston. I don't Hell no. It would be 120, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would hate Houston. Hell no. That's like nasty and humid. But yeah. one other quick thing too about Toronto, because obviously Andrew Wiggins and Anthony Bennett, yeah, the Scotty and Michael of the Timberwolves, hopefully, uh, are both from Toronto. Uh, Kamal Hilton, who's a who's a big. Uh, Fan of the Courtside Podcast, buddy of Vince Germano and the Showtime and He Wolves show, I believe. Yeah, he's listening to this show as well. He was telling me about how uh, how Toronto is going to get a ton of uh, games, tele- uh, Timberwolves games televised there because of the fact we have Andrew Wiggins and Anthony Bennett. Hmm. So instead of Cleveland getting that, we do now. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah, and I hear a lot, of, a lot of Raptors fans saying. Yes. Oh, there's that too. Yeah. yeah oh, oh know, go ahead. Yep. Yeah, we, yeah oh, we'll, yes. we'll, don't worry about it. We'll get uh, Wiggins and uh, Bennett. Oh, I hope free not. agents. Oh, I hope not. Oh, God, I hope not. Oh, I hope not. Wouldn't that be awful? Yeah. Uh, they better not pull a. They may go there in, the, in their, their uh, twilight years. Mm hmm. But I, I, don't think, I don't think they'll do it anytime soon, anytime soon especially for winning. Yeah, wouldn't that be awful? Especially with well, like look what we did. We look at all the look how hard we worked to get him to get yeah. them. You'd think they'd feel absolutely like thrilled to be here. Yeah, because think with the Flip Saunders, he he really did a hell of a job getting both of them here. I mean, he had to really convince Cleveland that you know what, I'm comfortable with Love suiting up for the Wolves this fall. And if you want Kevin Love, you're going to have to give up both. <laughs> Yeah, I think Flip is going to set this up to where our payroll is so low, by the time we have to resign them, we can pay them enough to keep them very happy mm-hmm. for a long time here. Mm-hmm. That would be kick-ass. And obviously, the good news, too. Not not to yeah. Miami's extent. Yeah, to really. keep uh, <laughs> Bosch. Yeah, we'll not like that. Enough. Yeah, Unless they really are like a 28 points a game guy, but uh, we'll worry about that when the time comes, I suppose. <laughs> um I don't even know what I was leaning towards. Oh, that sucks. I hate when that happens. <laughs> Doggone it. Kevin Garnett. No, I don't want to talk about him. No. Oh, no. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, oh, oh, yeah, there it is. The Larry Bird. Yeah, I mean, obviously, they will have Larry Bird rights when the time comes, too. Yeah. So, that that helps also. Larry Bird. They will have Larry Bird rights. So, that's where the CBA helps a team that already has the player. You know, you can it get, get, gets you more likely to keep them or... God forbid you have to do a sign and trade. It gives that more possible too to yeah, get a return. Saying, it, it'll, it'll be a while before um, Raptors can even think about getting getting uh, Wiggins and Bennett. Mm-hmm. And by that time, uh, I think their families will, will probably be here mm-hmm. and comfortable. Yep. So. Yep. I pray to all. Oh, Vladi Divac, there he is. So, yeah, we hope and pray that these guys do stick around for. As long as possible, and this team's success is is very much alive. And I, I do think it will be. I do think oh, yeah. this team is going to be very good. Um, and we didn't even talk about, we could probably close with this. It's a, yeah, this is going to be a longer one again. <laughs> probably not as long as some in the past. No, thank goodness it won't be like that. But real briefly, a guy you've always, always wanted on the Timberwolves is finally here. Yes, that's Mo Williams. Yes, a guy who was a clipper and a blazer. It's funny the, how that, that happens. Finally, yep. The next we'll get uh, Gerald Wallace. Yep. The, you just hope they're not, <laughs> yeah, you just hope the trade isn't totally gone. You know, like, I think Mo's young enough, he's still good, even though he had a weaker he had a weaker season last year than he's had for a while. Mm. But he was still extremely valuable with our hated Blazers. Yeah, 
Oh. I hate that team. God. But no, he was still valuable at that, wasn't he? Yeah. And then again, it's like, okay, where, if we have JJ, where Uh-oh. the minutes going to go? Oh, Don't yeah. The, the, oh, oh, the good news is, his arrival does mean, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, his arrival. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just something yeah, we saw. It something. signaled the end of uh, JJ. Yes. Yep. He's going to be, he's going to be out of here. <laughs> uh, Siskel and Ebert have two thumbs up, but no. <laughs> Sorry, uh, it's bad. Re- read between the lines there, but, um, <laughs> but <laughs> distracted, are we? We're really bad here. But Mo Williams, yeah, but I mean, we're at the tail end here. Uh, Mo Williams addition, really nice. I think, uh, bring some clutch ability. Hopefully he's not too much of a gunner at his stage of his career yeah, but, uh, and all that good stuff. Yep. The bad mm-hmm. thing. Mm-hmm. Look at you, you, you bad you thing. You gotta admit. Yep. What Mo Williams brings except for a couple more inches of height. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what J.J. does. Yeah, I Comes suppose. In, Look at you. The spark plug Look off the you. bench. That's what, the same thing. It's similar. You just hope he's better at it, so to speak. Maybe yeah. not as... And Mo does it more at the three-point line. Yeah, that, JJ, that's the good part. Yeah, J.J. does the penetration. Mm-hmm. Like, J.J. hits threes sometimes, but Mo's better at it. Yeah. So, hopefully, hopefully, hands folded... Fingers crossed, all that good stuff that yeah. Mo Williams. Uh, yeah, I think he's I'm better. I'm glad it was an okay contract. It wasn't for five years. Yeah, you know, player yeah. option. Yeah, it was only one year, so it's a shorty. Yeah. It's a shorty, like, no for like three million. Options. I mean, come on. Yeah, <laughs> that's really frustrating. Oh, I mean, I know sometimes it's like you're pushed against a wall, but it's like, yeah. Uh, yeah, I didn't see anyone rushing out to try to get uh, um, Bud again. <laughs> mm-hmm. To give him a player's option. Yeah, that would be really Especially bad. We knew we already knew he was injured. Mm-hmm. He's got a he's definitely got a knee condition that could be uh, very damning. I hope it isn't, but it doesn't look good. Yeah, I don't think he's getting I don't think Bud's getting uh minutes. Mr. Budinger. There's a million ways to pronounce the name, but I suppose I guess it is Budinger since he said so. Yeah. If if there's any source that that should that should have it right, it's him, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun season. I'm really looking forward yeah. to it, and hopefully, uh, a lot of people mm-hmm. from uh, um, a lot of other uh, teams are saying that uh, they're mm-hmm. gonna be watching the Wolves games. They're gonna choose yeah. that in the sports in the NBA, you know, the package. Oh yeah, I mean and. Um, Mr. Hilton there too as well, who's from uh, you know the you know like from the Toronto area. He mm. he's named us like a, at least his second favorite team. So he's yeah. gonna be watching a lot of us. And Adam and Oma yeah, still Vince is Vince Germano, our buddy. Can't wait to watch the Wolves this year. Oh, he he's ecstatic. He's named us our second favorite team for quite a many years now. Because I mean, all oh, the Luke going all the way back even to the Luke Longley era. The big Luke, the big Luke, thirteenth like overall it. pick. Yeah, wasn't like he? It. Wasn't he fun? The big Luke way back in the day. Remember that? Timberwolves and then obviously Chicago for Stacey King. And Oh, I could go on for years about all those old, all those old guys and those good old days. <laughs> I'm starting to get teary-eyed and the Atlanta Hawks maybe being bought by Dominique Wilkins. Oh, wouldn't that be cool? I would love that, actually. Wouldn't that be cool? Hmm. I don't, know if, I don't think he has a... Eh. The, the only thing better would be, or, you know, he'd be like, maybe like yeah. Michael, you know, where he's yeah. working around it, you know, where they work around it, kind of. Like, he becomes, like, the leader, even though he maybe he's not the chairman, so to speak, like, financially. Yeah. Um, man, it's, the only thing better would be Dominique suiting up again and him being as good as he was and it being 1990, no, 1990 again, not, not or 1988 or something. Ah, oh, hell yeah. I might see magic. Stick his uh, toes in there. Oh, and the Hawks? Yeah, it's yeah. possible. Since, yeah, he didn't get the Clippers. Ballmer has the Clippers. We never mentioned that. But, yeah, Ball, Steve Ballmer. Yeah, yep. And then Microsoft. You're going to see... I got I to think Microsoft will be one of the big sponsors of the Clippers. Yes. You're going to see a lot of services. A lot of, <laughs> a lot of flops going on. Oh, and just, that, too. Tired of the Clippers. I just don't know. I hate that franchise. Ugh. There's nothing to do with Donald Sterling, either. I hate that franchise. <laughs> I, I hate the... I hate... Griffin and all of them. Okay, dislike, yeah, hate, whatever the word is. Factor anymore. Yeah. My God. Marcus's girlfriend there? No, sorry. You <laughs> said that was bad. Yeah, that was we, bad. Yeah. We, I mean, this is a whole new team. Mm-hmm. It is, but it isn't. 
because mm-hmm. you still have a lot of <laughs> pieces. Yeah, a lot of yeah, a lot of Chase, s- yep. starters. Starters, small starters on the team still that we had last season, mm-hmm. except for up uh, Kevin Love. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be man. Yep, he's like the yeah. Obviously, uh, not a lot of people left, but uh, you know, a lot of good players are coming back, and some guys will be gone ultimately. It's just a matter of time. So, really, in closing, since we yeah we we we, we we've reached our capacity, yeah, we don't want to make this one too long, even though we've enjoyed the hell out of it. Really looking forward to the season. Gotta gotta have you back really soon again. Yes, are you excited? Yes, I'm definitely. Man, yep. I, yeah, I pray yeah, to have you, you back. Kidding me? Is... I I pray to have you back very soon. Yep, and yeah, I mean, I, I I apologize. We haven't recorded as much this summer as maybe summers past. We've maybe recorded a little more often, and yeah, we, like, we've had some quiet summers. But you know, oh, yeah, waiting for you know trades to be done. There's uh, there's that. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that Wiggins trade like really set this show back because it took about two months to get done because of the. We had to wait 30 days yeah, after him horrible. signing. Yeah, that rule sucks. The 30 day rule. Yeah. They need to get rid of that. It took them 30. It took them for. It took him about a whole month to sign him after the draft, and then, and then it's 30 more days after that. It's like, oh, <laughs> even though the minute the LeBron signed with Cleveland, we knew. Oh yeah. The possibility of Andrew Wiggins coming to Minneapolis was really good. I was pretty pumped about that, even though I hated seeing him leave the Heat and. Like I said a million times before, I hated all the hypocrisy that came with it. <laughs> like I say, uh, Golden State fans, you uh, dodged the bullet. Yeah, they did. Dodged well, the bullet. maybe. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> they weren't going to win anything. But yeah, I'm sorry. If they didn't, they well, didn't. Because I, I know Clay's going to win the max. Mm-hmm. And you're never going to win a championship with Clay Thompson averaging 26 points a game if he does. You're never going to. He's not that kind of player. He's not. He's good, but he's not going to win. The championship with the Warriors. It's just it's, if the Warriors win a title, okay, good for them. You know, I mean, but I, I don't see it happening without something very fortunate going uh, taking place. A really fortunate like trade of some kind, or an unbelievably lucky draft pick, which does happen once in a while. So, for those of you out there that have loved this show, we love you too. We really do. For those of you that have listened to this show as long as you have, we really, 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 really appreciate yeah. each and every one of you. From the bottom of our hearts, and I, I mean that, I mean it so much. This show is like my pride and joy. It really is. Mm-mm-mm. So and for those with mm-hmm. uh, high stress levels, yep. and high blood pressure, mm-hmm. this is good. It's a better season. Yeah. It's, from, here, from here on out, it's going to be, be so- a whole lot easier to watch. Yeah. yeah, the the big words of hope and uh, excitement and fun. It's and a coach that will play the the right players yes. too. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> it sounds like a, it sounds like something to look forward to, doesn't it? Yes. Enough. No more frustration. Oh man, this is gonna be great. Finally, now see how teams like uh, Phoenix. I can't say Phoenix. Well, teams look that at you. look at you. Don't really win games, but they're still exciting. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and we will win games in the future. Oh. Maybe not the first year, right? Yeah, maybe not maybe. the first year, but well, oh, and no. and maybe and maybe, yeah. You, we do, oh, yeah. You never. There's some do teams know. out there that we know we can beat. Yep, Phoenix. Oh, wait, I'm just kidding. Yeah, maybe. Phoenix, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll 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 find out. Uh, LA's one, I think we can beat though. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get that 22 game win streak going. Oh man, just get that double LA. twos. Yep, oh Vince, oh, we man. we love you, Kobe. This is payback <laughs> for that last second foul that she did on uh, Rubio. No, nah, they didn't call that. Aren't you? Yeah, they're not calling that. It's not like I hit him in the head. It's not like I fouled him. Come on, Kobe. <laughs> Come on, Kobe. They're not calling that. Yeah, that's how he does it too. That. Psh, yeah, I, I've yeah, seen him do like, it. Yeah. Where he's like, like, no, like, yeah, he's just mocking the ref and mocking the other team. It's going to be fun to finally uh, beat them. Mm-hmm. Several times, yes. <laughs> I mean, now it's time to beat the Blazers, too. I, I can't I, talk about blood pressure. Ah, Blazers and Nuggets and Mavericks, all those teams, they just get on my nerves for whatever reason. When Carmelo Anthony's laying elbows in our back and getting away with it, it's like, all right. All right, you sons of biscuits. <laughs> I love it. I, I love it. I can't wait. 
Oh, I'm glad it's September and not July, even though I love July and I miss it so much already. But we're getting very close to NBA season. Yes. So I can't wait to record the next episode. I can't wait. Yeah. Yeah, my guy. I could just tell you had a oh, you had a lot of energy tonight and couldn't wait. You know, couldn't couldn't wait to get a lot of this good uh, stuff off our chest tonight. I mean, I mean, I, I couldn't wait. I could tell you couldn't. So it's gonna be fun. We're gonna really enjoy this, and we thank you again for listening. And we will be back. And oh wait, and do forgive the possibility that this show may have seemed a teensy tiny bit unorganized, but it's not even about it being organized. It's because. It was my basically general team talk, general off season. So we didn't really need to do anything in a specific order. We just kind of went with the flow with this one, because ultimately it seems like we produce a better product that way anyway. So when it's game reviews, it's structured because you know chronological and all that good stuff. So that's just how this is. It's like a mega sode. This is a mega sode. <laughs> it's not a mini sode. It's a mega sode where it's more of a free free flowing, no breaks. This was this was the bomb. Thank you very much for joining, my friend. Oh, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure always. All right. Thank you so much. And we shall be back sooner than later, everybody.